This is part four of our lab where we're looking at HTML documents with embedded objects. We've done three parts previously and this can be found in the playlist link below the like button. For this one we're going to answer two questions here. And we're going to be looking at our lab doc for both of these. So we have an HTML documents with our embedded objects. Now that we've seen how Wireshark displays the capture packet traffic for large HTML files, we can look at what happens when our browser downloads a file with embedded objects, i.e. a file that includes other objects. In our example below, we have image fires, files that are stored on another server. So to do the following, we are going to set up our web browser, which we've done. We're going to clear our previous cache. So all this is going to be cleared. We want to filter for HTTP, press enter. We have not started capturing packets yet, but we'll do that in a second. Actually, we'll do that right now. So we're going to start this up without saving. We're going to enter this into our browser, just like this. And we have a picture here. That should be it, but let's go back here. Our browser should display a short HTML file with two images. These two images are referenced in the base HTML file. That is, the images themselves are not contained in the HTML. Instead, the URLs for the images are contained downloaded in the HTML. I'm going to stop this packet um, capture uh, just so we don't get any other uh, resources inside of here. Our publisher's logo is retrieved from the www.aw-bc dot com website um, so we should be able to find that somewhere inside of here um, and after this um, the image on the cover of our fifth edition is stored on the maniac manic dot cs dot umass dot edu server edition and from this we're going to stop our wireshark packet capture we have http http and the display filter specification window so that only HTTP messages are displayed. And now we can look at the questions. So the question 16, which is the first one we're looking at, how many HTTP get request messages did our browser send? To which internet address were they get requests sent? So if we look at this, we have one, we have two, and we have three gets right there. So that's three get messages, and that's shown in the figure 4.1 that I have here. To find each of the addresses in the get requests were sent, we must click the get and look in the destination. So the first is this, the 1.2, and then so on and so forth. And the second one is the same thing. And the last one is just a little bit different. And then it says, can we tell whether the browser downloaded the two images serially or whether they were downloaded from the web sites in parallel? And I believe the are downloaded in parallel. I'm not exactly sure why. I think it's because these two have the same destination, but I could be very wrong. So I'm not 100% sure on that. But that's it for HTML documents with embedded objects. Next, we're going to look at HTTP authentication, and then we're going to be finishing this lab.